Hello people of the internet. A few videos ago I made a video <laughs> about these pens, the Stedler double-ended permanent pens, the 3187s. And there was a little bit of confusion um, in the comments about the fact that these were permanent pens. And because a lot of people thought they were these pens, <laughs> which are not permanent pens. These are the water-based markers. These permanent pens are alcohol based and they only come in 36 colours. This is the biggest set they do. They do a set of 18 and a set of 36. This is the water based markers and they come in a set of 36, 72, 120. So there's 120 colours of these. So what I am going to do first is I'm going to swatch. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm going to swatch. My printer's back, woohoo! And I have printed out a uh, swatch cheat for myself. Now these pens don't come with numbers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the pens first of all. Let's bring you down where I'm used to having you. And explain that when I first opened these pens, I wasn't expecting that much from them because they feel really cheap and nasty. So if you compare them to, I mean, if you compare them to a Sharpie, a Sharpie's quite, I mean, they're plastic. Got really difficult lids to get off. Um, they're plastic, but they feel sturdy. And if you compare them to the Bic Intensity, these are got this rubberized grip here and they're nice and also sturdy. These feel like kids' fiber tipped, cheap and nasty pens. These do not feel like they're going to be any good. They feel like they're going to be not that good. So when they arrived, I thought to myself, eh, these aren't going to be that great. They have a, a fat tip, so just like a super tip tip, and then they have a fine tip. The fine tip is the split plastic tip, so not a fibre tip. So what I did is I... Now they don't come with a colour chart. I know someone... I saw a comment, but it got deleted by YouTube. Comments at the moment are a bit funny on YouTube. Someone posted a comment and I read it in my notifications, but when I went to try and find it, I couldn't find it. And they said that you can download the colour charts from Stedler's website. Not for these you can't. There is a colour chart on the Stedler website for the Triplus pens. So that would be these pens. So these. And these, there is a colour chart on the uh, on the Stedler website. I'll link it down below for the Tri Plus Fineers and the Tri Plus Colour, which are two different types of the same, uh, two different thicknesses of the same sort of pen. But there is no colour chart. There is no colour chart for these, or these, <laughs> or these. Now, I'm not saying that people haven't made their own colour charts because they may have done, and that's exactly what I've done. So what I did is I numbered all the pens with stickers. I actually swatched them out uh, and then put them in a colour order. I always start from yellow, go to orange, red, pink, blue, green, and then browns, greys, blacks. And then I always end on neons because I really don't like neons, so I usually stick them at the end. So that's what I've done with these. I swatched them. I just did a little scribble and then put them in a colour order. And then what I did is I kind of half sort of matched up their colours with the tripless colours by swatching out the tripless pens and then matching them to see if any of the colours matched. And some of them matched. So here, so I switched the tri tripless and then you can see here where the colours matched, I kept the names the same. But some of them didn't match, so I gave them my own names. I renamed the pens, and if, if Stedler wants to use the names, well, you're welcome. So the first thing I'm going to do, is so that we get a nice good uh, look at all the pens, is I'm going to swatch all the colours out. Okay, so let me just put a bit of squidge underneath here, and I've actually got a plastic sheet underneath here as well, because these are alcohol based, and these will bleed. This paper is 120 GSM printer paper, and I'm going to go as quick as I can through these. Okay, so this is what I've called number one, light yellow. I used the fixed side. 
So that's the one I have called light yellow. This one is the one I've called yellow, number two. This one's number three, which I have called sun yellow. Should have called that one dark yellow, really. I just used, stole the name from the from the other pens. Uh, this one, number four, light orange. Number five is orange, or I have called it orange. Number six, I have called red. I'm really going out on a limb with these names, aren't I? Number seven, I have called Bordeaux Red because it is a really deep red when it dries. To be honest, they're both quite dark, the reds, in this set. The next one I have called Pale Pink because it is a pale pink. This one is number nine, which I called Rose Pink. This one is number, it, 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 even, when I'm saying this one's number 10, it's just the stickers that I've put on them. 10 I called magenta, which to be honest is a real purple, sort of purpley pink. The next one I called red violet, number 11, red violet. They're very similar, them two colours to be honest, that one's just a tad darker. Actually, they look really dark on the camera. The next one with this quite dark lid, I have called Light Violet. Maybe I should have just called it Light Purple. This one, number 13, I called Violet. Probably purple would have been better. This one, number 14, I have called Denim Blue. <laughs> Maybe it's lavender, but I called it denim blue because it has got more of a blue tone to it. My colours, my numbers, call them what I like. This one I called uh, indigo blue. It's a real, real dark blue. This one I have called Ink Blue. It's also a dark blue, but not quite as dark as the one above. The next one I called Ultramarine Blue, because I think it really does look like Ultramarine. Yeah, the paint. And then this last one I called Ice Blue. I was just going to say, you think there should be standard colours, like a standard colour palette somewhere. Yeah, that'll be the Pantone colours. I called this one Ice Blue. Could be Baby Blue. Okay, so we got to the next bit. Okay, the next one I called Aqua Blue. Next one I called Light Teal, even though it's really green. I think it looks really tealy. It's got a teal tint to it. Next one I just called teal. Because it does look like an, one version down from that one. They are green, but they're not green green. Um, the next one I just called green. It looks green. This one I called Willow Green. It's that really nice viney colour green. And then this one, 24, I called Olive Green. So you can tell by this, it looks like it's going to be an olive green. It's really a dark olive green. Proper, proper olive green. This one. Ah, oh, number 25. I put left lime green on there. That's from the other set. This one is actually cream. Let me cross that out. 
cream is the one I've decided to call this one. That. Looks like that, it's a real sort of pale cream colour. Next one, 26. My numbers again, remember there's no numbers on these. I've called this one yellow ochre. Because I think it is, though it could also be an olive green. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. This one, 27. This one. I thought this one was going to be a real like, burnt sienna. But, but it, I've called it mahogany. Because it looks like that. You can see that the caps do not match the colours at all. <laughs> you know what? Interestingly, probably would be a good idea to switch those two caps. Because this one here, I'll show you first this one, which is I've called brown, number 28. And then this one here, I've called walnut. Or maybe. No, I mean, at the end of the day, they're the free browns. And they're the free browns. <laughs> so... nothing like and they're the three browns that one is a bit like that one but that one not at all and that one really not more orange than anything okay then we've got light grey which the lid on the light grey looks glittery silver bear in mind these names are the names that I've given the pens and these numbers are the numbers I've given the pens so I've called that one light grey and the other one grey now the next one i really struggled with naming the next one i named it black because it's black i was going to call it noir or schwarz but i called it black okay this one neon yellow this one neon orange This one neon pink, and this one neon green. Yay! Okay, okay, so that's the 30 colors from the 36 double ended permanent pens from Stedler. The permanent pens they say neon at the bottom there, there's the color spectrum at the bottom. Thank you.